girls aren't supposed to grow facial hair. Why was I? I was completely miserable. Now that I finally let go of that hatred, my confidence has skyrocketed. The condition I have is polycystic ovarian syndrome. That means you have a bunch of cysts all over your ovaries. My confidence is extremely intense now that I've done this. It's so common, you're not alone, and you're beautiful with the body you have. You don't have to hide it. When the hair first started growing, I felt disgusting. I felt like a reject. I was inspired to do Movember or No Shave November. I was terrified, but at the same time, I felt kind of like increasingly more liberated. It was neat seeing how fast it grew in and how her confidence grew. As a young teenager, when this first started happening, I did get bullied a bit. Typically, it affects people with hormonal imbalances. There were girls who would make fun of my body hair and stuff. I was afraid to go to sleepovers. I was afraid of people touching my face, finding out that I had this issue at all. I shaved from the age of 12 until the age of 26. So it was very much a part of my normal routine to just keep doing it, and I, had, I saw no reason to stop. I was very self-conscious about anyone touching my face at all or any of my body, really. I just felt like people would be disgusted in the way that I was, personally. I didn't have any negative feelings because it, it's not something you can help. It's nothing really hurtful or bad. I like her either way, honestly. She's still Nova. She's still my, my girlfriend. I feel like you know, I can do more in the world. I can do more to help people. I can do more to help myself. I can make other people happy. I can make myself happy. It's mind blowing the response that I've gotten. I didn't expect to have people in the hundreds personally messaging me, thanking me for doing this. People who needed to see someone who has an issue like they have. So it's been a really rewarding experience. I understand the pain that you're going through. I understand the hurt and I understand like the anger towards yourself and the self-hatred. But you don't have to be that way. You can let go of it and you can learn to love yourself. And I do love it and I love, you know, I love it on myself. I love how it looks. It's interesting. It keeps my face warm when it's freezing. It's been a blessing for me. They called it a cinnamon beard earlier. It's a cinnamon beard and it's really soft. <laughs> That's gay.